Hello everyone, welcome back. Now after studying descriptive statistics in detail and studying different kinds of plots that can be used in descriptive statistics, now let's see the Python implementation for all of these. Now this is a sample sheet that I have developed. In this we have to import the basic libraries of Python that is pandas, import pandas as pd. Again pd is an alias of panda and we use it as a short form to invoke all the methods that are there in the pandas library. Then we will import numpy library as np. Then we will import matplotlib.pyplot library and the alias for the same is plt. In this uh, we are using the c1 library for the graph and we are using the warning library for the to ignore all the warnings in the while we are running the command. For example, we have made a dictionary and dictionary consists of uh, three um, attributes. One is name, the other one is age, the other one is rating and we have given the input to the dictionary attribute in the form of a series. Now we have given the series of names like Tom, James, Ricky, Win, Steve, Smith, Jack and so on. Similarly, the series of age 25, 26, 25, 23 and so on and the rating like 4, 3, 3. So this comprises of the rating of a particular movie. Now we have passed this uh, dictionary to our data frame and we have print this data frame. So let me execute this uh, basic libraries first. Now this is it was showing as a dark circle. That means I'll just run it again. Now this was this is, has been executed. Now I am running the dictionary and the data frame. Now this is the data frame that I have created using dictionary with the attributes name, age, and rating. Now if I want to find the sum of all the age or find the sum of all the names, then what will I do? I'll just write the command df dot sum and I will print it. Now if I print it, all the names will get concatenated. I will get the total sum of the ages of 11 persons and total rating received for a particular movie. Now if I want to study the central tendency of descriptive statistics, the central tendency consists of mean and median and mode. Now we'll see all of them one by one. Now if I'll calculate df under df dot mean. Now df.mean will give me the age and the ratings mean average value and so I am received 31.8 as an average age and 3.16 as an average rating. Similarly, I can calculate the standard deviation. Now standard deviation was a measure of spread when we want to know the spread of the data. Now again, I'll just use the data frame dot std and I'll just print the required thing and I can see that from the mean the deviation of the age is 9.23 that is 31 plus minus 9.23 can be represented as my mean plus standard deviation. Similarly for the rating the standard deviation is 0.71 that is it is deviating 0.71 units from my mean. Now next central tendency measure was median. Now to find out the median we have just the command df.median and I will just run this command. Then we can see the middle value of age is 29.5 and the middle value of rating is 3. Then we can count the number of occurrences of particular um, name or age or uh, rating in the data set. Now we can see that we have a total 12 entries. Next, if we want to find out the mode, then we can use df.mode command and we can find out the mode for particular data. And you can see that in age, we are having only three modes that is tri-modal data and in rating we have only one mode. Now if I just so this data does not give me the accurate mode. Now what will I do because it consists of string values. Now to find out the mode of the age I will just write df that means the entire data frame and in data frame I am using the specified column like age and I want to find out the mode of the age column. So I will write df brackets age dot mode. Now this will give me the age uh, mode that is we have three modes 23, 25 and 30 that means there are three ages that are occurring in the same frequency. If I want to find out the minimum of a particular attribute I can write find out the minimum using the command df dot minimum we can apply it on the entire data set and we can apply it on the one data set one attribute also. 
like here if i have used df.min we have used df.min which gives us a minimum rating of 2 and the age as 23 if we want to apply it for the particular um, attribute i'll just copy up this command here and i will just find out the minimum of particular of age then it gives me the minimum of age attribute similarly we can find out the maximum value maximum value is again used using df dot maximum value and in this name we are getting the uh, name with the uh, character that appears in last in my al alphabetical series and the maximum age and the maximum rating received now we have a one function df dot describe that describes that gives us a complete statistical measures so in this we are getting count that means we have 12 entries in the table we have the mean as 31.8 and 3.16 of uh, rating standard deviation mean minimum value now we have studied box plot so this is a 25th percentile data this is a 50th percentile data or similar to median now we have 75th percentile data and we have the maximum value so instead of calculating all these parameters individually we can just use the function df.describe and we can get the total descriptive statistics of our entire data frame or the entire data set and in this if i have include in the describe object if i have include my object type data data also that is the name that is the categorical variable or the string variable then we can use that as this now we have studied measure of shape now in this we can see that we can find the skewness of a particular attribute also skewness and protosis so skewness represents the either it is normal shape distribution or left shape distribution or right shape distribution now to find out the skewness i am using the attribute age from the data frame and i am using the method skew so this will give me the skewness of the data similarly kurtosis can be find out using the command curt now let's see what are the different plots that we can use to plot our data first is histogram now histogram was basically used for continuous variable that has been shown on the x axis and which we can broken down into bins or the discrete intervals and based on the number of samples we can determine the height of the bar so let's say we want to plot for the histogram for the age so we have used this age command df age we want to plot the kind of the graph is histogram so we'll use the function dot plot here kind is equal to hist which stands as a short form for histogram then bins, bins use will use this data that means we want to plot the data in these particular intervals that is 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80 and 80 to 100. Then we want to find out the frame of the figure in which we want to display. So that will be represented by figure size. The color of the graph should be brown. The y ticks is the number of intervals on the y axis and x ticks is equal to bins, the number of intervals that we are certified in the form of bins. Now I want to give the label to my x axis as age. So I am using the command plt dot x label and age. The label of y axis is frequency that is plt dot y label and title of the histogram is plt dot title histogram showing the distribution of age. Now if I run this, I will get my histogram. You can see that the intervals on the x axis are 0, 20, 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80 and 80 to 100. And on the y-axis, we have taken random numbers in the range of 0 to 22 at an interval of 3. That means np.arrange gives us the intervals at 0, 3, 6, 9 and so on. This is the interval on the y-axis and the color of the graph is brown. And we can see that maximum people lie in the range of in the age of 20 to 40 and that is approximately 9 people and only 3 people lie in the range of 40 to 60. So this is how we can plot histograms from our data frame. Next type of charts that we have studied is bar charts. Now bar charts is basically used to plot the categorical data and if we want to find out the relationship between two variables or even if we have one variable then it is the categorical uh, data then we can use bar charts. For more information on categorical type of data the link has been attached to my video. Do refer it out for the types of data. Now. In this, I want to plot my ratings. Now, I will use the df, that is the data frame. And in data frame, I am using ratings column. 
I'm counting the number of ratings, each type of rating, like, like how many of two ratings, how many of three ratings, and how many of four ratings. And I'm pl uh, plotting a bar plot. Here, this is the figure size again. That is the total size of the figure in which I want to plot my graph. The color map, I'm using any color, dark to. The font size should be 13. And again, y tick is at an interval of 2. And I'm starting my interval from 0 to 19. Similarly, X label is rating. Y, the title of my graph is bar chart showing the number of ratings. And I am using save figure that whatever uh, graph I will get, I will save it in my folder. Now, once I'll run this command, we can see that this is the figure size of 15,7. Dark 2 is giving me the green color. And I can say that there are six people who have given the ratings of three. There are approximately four students who are uh, four people who have given the rating of four and two people have given the rating of two. And if I'll go back to my current folder, you can see I have got the bar chart or PNG. And if I'll open it, I'll get the same graph. So in this way, I can save my current graph that I have plotted. Next type is to show the distribution of the data, how the data has been distributed, that is the spread of the data. For this, we use kernel density estimation plot, right? So this is used to plot the shape of my data. The command is simple. I want to plot the shape of my data, the of age category. So I have used data frame and age column. I have used the plot command and the kind of plot I need to plot is KDE, that means kernel density estimation, short form of KDE. The figure size is again the frame of the size and the color I want to use is black. Now I can see that once I run this command, I can see that I have received a distribution of the age and it is nearly um, normal distribution and but little bit of left side distributed. Right? So this is how I can find the distribution of my data using the kernel density estimation plot. Next, if I want to uh, study the relationship between two variables, then we can use scatter plot. Now, if I want to know how is the, my two variables age and weighting varies, then I am using df.plot. And in this, I am using kind of plot I want is scatter plot. X axis will have age, Y axis will have rating, figure size, color is equal to purple. And I want to show the grid. So, I don't want to show the grid. So, I have setting as false. If I set it as true, I will get the figure in the form of grids. And this is the title of my graph that is scatter plot showing the variation of ratings with the age. Once I'll run this, this is a scatter plot I have plotted. You can see the color is purple, and you can see that there is no linear relationship between age and rating because any kind of age, uh, any kind of person of any age can give any rating to the movie. This is showing that age and rating are not uh, correlated with each other. So next type of graph is pair plot. If you want to study the distribution of all the variables in my data frame, then I can use a command SNS. SNS is a uh, alias for the Seaborn library. And in this, I'm using the command pair plot and data for the entire data. I'm passing out data from age and rating. And the kind of graph I want to use is diagonal is KDE. So that means in uh, diagonal will be plotted in between the same variable that is age and age, rating and rating. And for that kind of graph, I need KDE graph. So if I run this, you can see that rating is almost normal distributed, somewhat slightly skewed and age is left side distributed. So this is the diagonal graph. The relationship between age and age and rating and rating and this we have plotted as a KDE graph. Next type of graph we have is box plot. Now, if I want to find out how my age and rating are variation uh, are varying and are there any outliers in my data, so I will use the SNS as a Seaborn library and I will box plot command and I am passing out the entire data frame and on the x axis I want to pass uh, print age and on the y axis I need rating and palette is rainbow that it will give me a mix of colors and once I'll run this, I'll be getting this graph that means for 23 age, the ratings are varying from 2 to 3. For person with 25 age, the ratings are varying from 3 to 4 and so on. So this is all what we can do in descriptive statistics using Python implementation in Python. So I hope this video finds you interesting. And for more such interesting videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.